Hey Aries, I hope you're all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-September 2021. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general. So it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs and you can get a personal reading. Also, the roles can be reversed because this is general. So let's see, what is the overall energy for Aries? From mid-September to the end of September. All right, and we have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. All right, so this is the crown chakra. So it could be that you are beginning to feel more connected with your spiritual side or you feel like you have been... Um, just getting more messages, more downloads concerning your own self or concerning a connection that you are in. It could even be that you are feeling more connected spiritually to, to a particular person here. So let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of September. All right, so for your situation, we have the High Priestess. All right, and this does resemble the seventh chakra to me. So, crossed by the Magician. Let's see, recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles. Near future, we have the Knight of Cups. For your energy, we have the Knight of Wands. For them, we have the King of Wands. For you, we also have the Queen of Cups. For them, the Seven of Wands. And the potential outcome here is the King of Pentacles. All right, Aries. So, for this situation, um, I feel like you're definitely feeling a very strong connection with this person. You're feeling like it is, a, like it's very spiritual. Um, and I feel like you are actually either having dreams about this person, this person is having dreams about you, like there's just this very strong connection, almost like the two of you can communicate telepathically or um, just really feeling a very strong connection in the 5D. I feel like what the issue is here is really manifesting that in the 3D, being able to bring that into fruition. All right. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of um, holding tightly to this from both ends, actually, both from you as well as your person to this. But again, there's some kind of just there's either some kind of distance or some kind of holding back, like not not much communication here in the 3D, at least. I feel like you you might be going through um, a little bit of an unstable time at the moment. Like maybe you're feeling one way the one minute and then a different way the next minute. Like there's just, you're having a hard time finding a sense of stability here and this can actually be very, very frustrating for you. Um, however, you st you're still feeling a lot of emotions for this person and you're very much in touch with your spiritual side, all right, um, during this time period. For them, this is somebody who has a lot of passion for you, all right, could, it could be that you're dealing with another fire sign. This is somebody who is able to overcome obstacles, but I feel like they just don't know it yet because there's a sense of them kind of blocking it out or them possibly feeling like they have to put up a fight. And it could be that this person is feeling like this, they don't know if they can put up this fight. They don't know if they are capable enough of doing that. And so they seem to be a little bit guarded. I do see love coming in here in the near future with the Knight of Cups and definitely for the um, potential outcome here, that's commitment with that King of Pentacles, that's stability coming in for you. All right, also could be dealing with an earth sign. So let's, let's clarify. So let's see this high priestess with the magician.
All right, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Wands. All right, so there's there's pain here. I feel like this pain is actually, again, on both ends. I feel like this is um, a connection where you're both feeling each other, as I said before. And so I feel like a lot of this energy that is coming through is actually very mutual. I feel like there is... There is some kind of action here. There's a lot of knowing what the truth is on both ends. But for some reason, it also appears that this truth is also painful. Like there's something here. There's a truth that you that you seem to be um, uncovering or seeing that is creating some pain. However, what's interesting is that at the same time, at the same time, there is also this hope that that things can kind of start fresh. And like I said, um, I usually don't say this, but I feel like in this particular case, this is actually the both of you feeling the same way. And this is what I'm describing here has to do with being able to bring this connection into reality because it's there. It's like there. It's there um, energetically. But it's not being, um, what's the word? It, it, it's not just being manifested. It's not, it's not playing out. It's like it's not coming together in some way. Even though you know that that potential is there. So it's, it's very interesting. It's going, the specifics are going to be different for each of you, right? This is general. Um, we'll see. Let's get deeper into this and this might make more sense. Let's see the Knight of Wands for your energy. Oh, we have the Tower. So this is why things are feeling unstable for you. I feel like there might be more going on here other than just this connection. I feel like there might be a lot of things that you are dealing with in your life at the moment. Um, definitely a part of it is this connection with this person, but I feel like there are other things going on for you as well, or possibly these other things might even be related to the connection, all right, where it feels like things have to change, like something needs to be destroyed, something needs to kind of like um, start from ground zero, and because of that, and it could be a major shift, it could be a major shift that you are going through in other areas of your life, and in some way this is also affecting this connection. Let's see the Queen of Cups. The Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. You're definitely going through a transition here. You know, you know that that something within you needs to shift. It, I don't know how this relates to this person, but in some way it does. You're feeling like there, you've been carrying a huge burden for some time now. And I do, uh, it could even be, you know, your emotions for this person and the fact that this is just not really coming together. Like, you know that, that energetically it's there. I feel like there's no doubt about that. Um, but it's, it's coming in like your emotions, right? The pain that you have been carrying, that is the burden because of this or of something that may have happened in the past. And so you, you are in the process of releasing that. Again, I feel like this might have to do with something else in your life as well. Um, that, that you are in the process of releasing, which is turning you in a new direction. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this King of Wands. All right, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and give me one sec. And the Nine of Swords. 
All right, yeah, so this person is definitely struggling when it comes to um, releasing something here. Releasing something in order to find some, some sense of freedom. There is an obstacle here that they are currently going through that is creating a lot of stress for them. Especially when it could it could be um, concerning their sense of self worth, um, finding some kind of healthy boundary for some of them, and then for others just being free of some situation that they have been holding on to very tightly. And this could even be um, of just not even allowing themselves to to be free when it comes to their own. Um, to their own emotions, to the passion that they feel. I feel like this person may, may have been holding back, not only when it comes to their emotions, but to, to their desires, what it is that they want. Being expressive in that way. Let me see the Seven of Wands. So it could be that for a lot of you, this is... Um, that this may have to do with the communication or with the way that this person is expressing their emotions. The Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, again, and the Two of Wands. All right, so a lot of wands. Definitely strong um, fire sign here. So do let me know in, in the comments if you are dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but I'm just seeing a lot, a lot of it. Um, you are very strongly on this person's mind here, right? You, you are this Knight of Wands. It's showing up here as well. Um, this person is blocking blocking out the connection in some way and again I feel like it has to do with them expressing their their passion for this or their feelings for this and one of the reasons why they're blocking blocking you out or kind of keeping themselves guarded in the way that they are is because they're not sure just yet if they have what it takes as I said before Um, to overcome whatever obstacle needs to be overcome in order to manifest this connection um, more strongly in the 3D, in order to actually um, be there 100%. So I feel like, yeah, there is still some um, guarding here of their emotions during this time period. And let's see the Knight of Cups because the two future-oriented cards are looking pretty positive. All right, and we have the Page of Swords. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely opening up emotionally, expressing their feelings, um, definitely some communication here that I feel is going to be from the heart. It's going to be emotional. Could come through in any way. If you are already in contact, this could be that this person is just opening up emotionally and expressing their feelings finally. Or how they're feeling. Let's see the King of Pentacles. Alright, so before we see the King of Pentacles, I just want to say something real quick over here. Alright, so this is what this situation is about. Alright, them not being um, as communicative, as expressive. All right, when it comes to how they truly feel, all right, to the passion that they have for you or what it is that they are feeling. There's, for whatever reason, this person has been guarding that, guarding themselves from expressing that because then they don't know if they can follow through, all right? That is basically the gist of this reading. You are going through your own um, transition here, possibly because of this, all right, trying to release that burden even though you're still feeling a lot of love for this person, all right? But there is communication coming up. And for the King of Pentacles, which is the potential outcome here, we have the Ten of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Moon. So yes, although there is um, stability here, right? Things are beginning to um, feel more grounded, feel more stable, rather than this like back and forth and not sure of what is going on. I feel like what that is also bringing is an ending. Um, to something, a successful ending. I don't really feel like it is this connection 
that is ending, all right? Um, it could be for some of you. I don't think it is, not with this type of a spiritual connection that I'm seeing here. I feel like this is an ending to something from the past, something that needs to be ended, something that there was a lot of fear attached. So once that fear is released, which will bring about an ending, that's when there will be um, success here when it comes to things becoming more stable. And I do see that things are heading in that direction. But yeah, it might come with a little bit of um, a painful ending for somebody here. For something else in their life. And it, it could even be you, all right? It could be this tower, whatever it is that you're having to um, face at the moment. <clears throat> whatever it is, don't let it scare you, all right? We have that Six of Wands. It's going to lead to something um, successful and something that is going to be really positive for you. All right, so the final message for you is taking shelter. The answers are within. So yeah, you already know, and that's what I've been getting here, right? There's a lot of communication between you and this person in the 5D. There's also a lot of communication with you and the divine at the moment with your higher self, all right? All those answers are within. So take shelter from within. All right, Aries, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Much love.